afternoon, and thank you for joining us. Uh, wherever you're watching us from today, maybe it's on a lunch break, or maybe you're just taking a few minutes away from work, or uh, maybe you're running some errands or sitting at home, man, we just are so appreciative that you would take a few min minutes with us today. I'm Brad Dancel. I'm our student pastor here in, uh, at Generations Church, and man, we are just, uh, we're just so loving what is happening in our church uh, over this last uh, 21 days or so as we emphasize prayer and, f and fasting and scripture reading and, uh, you know, as uh, Pastor Brian preached about on Sunday out of Acts 13, where they were just praying and fasting together, and they just experienced a move of God. Uh, that's our prayer, uh, as we just uh, just kind of find ourselves in the presence of God, man, that we would just pray and fast and seek Him, and that uh, we would just experience a powerful move of God in our lives and in our church. So um, over the next few moments, uh, Pastor Brent here is going to lead us in a song of worship, and I just encourage you that... Um, maybe to, to kind of get away for a minute wherever you're at and just uh, spend some time and worship with us. And uh, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to lead us in a time of prayer. Where, and today we're praying for our government leaders, our pastoral leaders, those that are in authority over us in our lives. And um, I'm just going to usher us into to that moment and lead us in that prayer. So um, again, spend a few moments in, uh, in worship with us with Pastor Brent, and then I'll come back here shortly.
Father. So over the next few moments, would you join me in prayer as we pray for our government leaders and those that are in authority over us. And uh, we'll end uh, praying for our pastoral leaders here at our church and, and those that, uh, you know, that maybe, maybe some spiritual mentors and things like that. So God, we come before you today. God, we lift up your name over our leaders, God, that uh, we're humbled to know that you guide and you lead us uh, by the direction of your spirit, God, but that you also put people uh, on this earth and in our path, God, that, that, have, that have some authority over us, God. So we pray for those leaders in our life. God, we pray that you would uh, give them wisdom and discernment, God, that those that are serving in office in our, at our national level and at our state level and even at our local level, God, that they would be filled with wisdom and discernment, God, that, that, our, that our government leaders would be led and directed by your spirit, God, that, um, that, the, that the principles of heaven, God, would, would begin to would begin to become the the truth again of our country, Lord, that uh, this country was founded on principles um, of faith and biblical principles, God, and we just pray that over our country, over our leaders, God, that they would be guided and led in your spirit, God, in wisdom and discernment, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that there would be conviction to the things of you, Lord, that you would uh, draw their hearts close to you, God, and as they find themselves close to you, Lord, that the choices that they make, that the words that they say, that uh, the things that they lead in, God, would be, uh, that they would all point back to you. God, we thank you that um, that as offices open, God, that you would fill them with leaders uh, that are inclined to, to have biblical conviction, God. We just thank you so much, Lord, that we live in a country of freedom, that we live in a country where we have uh, the, the things, the blessings, and the, the open doors that we have, God. But when I thank you, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that that freedom comes by, by sacrifice. And in sacrifice, God, I pray that you would convict the leaders that are over us and in, into things of you, Lord, and I thank you for that. God, I pray that, um, that that hearts would be open to you, that the hearts of our government leaders, Lord, would be open um, to a move of your spirit, Lord, that they, that they would sense and believe not just the things of you, but that they would be empowered by the spirit of God, Lord, that they would be uh, drawn close to you, Lord, and we just thank you. Lord, that, that your spirit draws them back to you. And as and in doing so, Lord, that they would, uh, that again, that they would, uh, that they would be convicted and encouraged, God, to, to, to pursue not just the things of you for our country, but the things of you for themselves and their families, God. Lord, I pray for the families of our government leaders, Lord, for the spouses and the children, God. Lord, as, as they live lives in, in what is sometimes the spotlight, Lord, I just pray that, that you would uh, guide, lead, and protect them, Lord. Give them wisdom and discernment as well, Lord. We just thank you so much uh, for the support systems for our government leaders that you've provided them and their families, God, and I just pray over their families as well. Lord, as we shift into praying for our pastoral leaders, God, I thank you for Generations Church. God, I thank you for uh, the impact that we're making in our community, for the impact that we're making all around the world. But Lord, that doesn't come uh, without hard work. So Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the leaders that are guiding us, that are leading us into seasons of, of hard work, God, as we pursue the things of you, Lord, I pray. I pray for an empowerment of your Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for a fresh renewal of your spirit in the lives of our church leaders, God. God, I thank you that you would give fresh vision, fresh anointing, God, that you would continue to pour your spirit out and that in obedience, God, the leaders of Generations Church would passionately pursue the things of you, Lord, and we wouldn't take a step, we wouldn't take an action, God, without knowing that it is a move of God that is calling us to pursue the things of you. So God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the great call that you've put on every leader in Generations Church. God, we thank you for the great call of God that you've put on our lives, Lord. And we are humbled to serve you, Lord. And we just pray that as we offer our hands and our lives to you, God, Lord, that you would continue to, that you would continue to, to just 
your name would go forth. And we thank you that a great move of your spirit would happen, not just in our church, but in our community, in our city, in our state, and all over this globe because of the convictions that you put in the hearts of the, the leaders at Generations Church. So God, I pray that you would, uh, again, as, as you lead and guide, Lord, I pray that you would protect. Lord, seasons come and go of, of both uh, ups and downs, God. And I just pray for, uh, for encouragement, God, for strength in those seasons when things may seem down. God, I thank you, Lord, that you encourage and, and you send out those that, that serve you, God. So I pray. I pray for the spouses and the children of our leaders. God, here at, church, here at Generations Church, God, I just thank you so much for, uh, for, for not just the support that they are to the leaders, God, but I thank you for the workers for the, uh, of the kingdom that they are, God, for the way that they serve, for the open hearts that they uh, desire to, to have in relationship with the people of Generations Church. God, I thank you. I thank you for the blessing that they are, not just to the leaders, uh, not just to the pastoral staff, God, but I thank you for the blessing that they are to the body of Christ, Lord. And I pray that you would continue to pour your blessing out as they remain a blessing to the kingdom. So God, I pray for the spouses and the children and the family members that are close to the leaders of Generations Church, God. And I just pray for a mighty move of God in, in our body, God. I pray for a mighty move of God that as we continue to seek you in prayer, as we continue to, to just be renewed and refreshed in this season, God, that we would just continue to see uh, the, the Spirit of God move in signs and wonders and miracles, uh, Lord, just not in our body, but God, in our leadership, God, in our church, Lord, in our community. I pray for signs and wonders and miracles to continue to go forth, Lord, and I just thank you so much for what you want to continue to do here. God, we offer it up to you today and we give you all glory, honor, and praise. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, uh, thanks for taking just a few moments with us this afternoon. And, uh, you know, it's just, we're, we're almost at the end of our 21-day emphasis. And so uh, I'm just so thankful. We're so thankful for you taking some time over the last few weeks and just diving into the things of God. And uh, man, if you've got any prayer needs, we would love to be praying with you. You can send those to the church at uh, info at gctlh.org and our staff will be praying with and for you. And uh, maybe uh, you missed a, a day or two of our prayer emphasis this week. You can catch all of those on Facebook and YouTube. You can go back and, and join us in just praying over the different topics this week. And hopefully that you'll be able to join us uh, for, for tomorrow's time. And we will go live at the exact same time. And we're just, again, so appreciative that you would take just a few moments with us today and uh, that you would pray. And I encourage you and that God is going to continue to move in your life as you seek him. So thanks for joining us. Have a great day. God bless you.